Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Europa Universalis 4, playing as Sweden in the Line of the North campaign. We are currently devouring the rest of Denmark, trying to make Poland like us, though now that we've converted to Protestantism and they have not, they're a little bit upset about that. I'm hoping they're going to end up switching since they do have a center of reformation. If they're managing to convert like their capital plus a lot of other core territories, they might do it just for stability reasons, in which case that gives me a huge advantage when trying to claim the throne against them, but at least for a bit, that's not looking very likely to happen. Anyways, Ehu, so this is all looking solid. Let's go ahead and start blockading over here around Stade. We can get them a bit of war exhaustion, plus we can steal some money by raiding their coastlines. That's usually considered to be a good thing. We're gonna siege down whatever this is, uh, Launberg? Whatever it is, I don't know. Brandenburg's going around. They have a lot of rebels to deal with, apparently. I'm so sorry, but it's fine. I just need to kill the Denmark person. Okay, so we pick that sucker up. Can I super piece? What can I take? I want to take all of this as a minimum. What does the coalition look like if I do that? Non-existent. If I take the um, religious, or sorry, the Holy Roman Empire territory, it doesn't create uh, a coalition yet. Though it does upset a lot of people, but it gets me a direct land border to Lubeck, which is kind of one of my goals. Uh, we will have some unlawful territory issues, but like, whatever. And then I would want to take your money, and then I guess I could have you like revoke some cores and stuff for fun, but like, it doesn't matter. So this is what I want. So for that, I need to either get your allies out or something. I don't really know. I don't really care. Conversion successful, good. We did convert to Protestantism, as I said, so we're gonna try to aggressively convert some care, uh, core territory down, especially around the higher development provinces in Novgorod, and then my capital area, my Swedish and Finnish culture areas as much as we can. Two years to go on some tech. Colonialism did fire off, but we're not facing any major penalties as of yet, so that's fine. Um, Could start blowing some stuff open here. I'm going to... Take some troops and see if we can march them up over this way. Salt crisis, not good. Not a big deal, but not good. Trying to siege down Verden. No one is sieging down Stettin for some reason. I feel like Brandenburg has a chance to do that, but I think they lost all their troops. I mean, they have a few sitting right here, but that's about it. Huh. Um, maybe we can just march over here with another set of troops right now. I do have an heir with, um, oh. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I do have an heir with uh, some siege value. Let's send some cannons and help with this. Gosh, my voice. Good lord. Am I this out of practice? Apparently. Uh, a vassal. No. Pillaging? No. But forcing religion and making them into um, uh, Protestantism actually gets me, I think, something in the Age of Reformation. Wait a minute. We, the Age of Reformation hasn't fired yet. That's in 75 months. We'll have plenty of opportunities to do that. We can force it anyway, though. End your alliance with Volgast just because I plan on killing them. And, I don't know, I don't care about your trade, just give me this. All right. So we're forcing now some Protestantism in the HRE. This is all part of my master plan, eventually. Novgorod Separatists just fired, great. We're gonna have a lot of Separatists because I have a lot of unrest because I am the wrong religion, quote unquote. But that's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it, we'll get there eventually. Don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. We've converted some more stuff to Protestant. It's good. So in this state, this one, for God's sake, I can't convert you because I just converted you. I've been wasting months. Yeah, this, I just converted a couple of these. That's why. See, I just wasted a few months here. I forgot. I've already converted some of these to Catholic. Therefore, they've got the religious zealotry thing. Therefore, there's nothing I can do. So do I save up for the next round of tech? Or do I go ahead and pick up the monthly war exhaustion and start working toward things like advisor costs? I think I just go ahead and start finishing this out. This will also get me a nice policy, which I can use at some point too. I want all of those. We can build supply depots. I don't know how I just got more army professionalism, but apparently I did. State Firearm Regiment? Mm, no. Let's go ahead and finish this off quickly. Uh, I need to get my navy. Bring them over here. Uh, Verden, you I actually would like to have the trade power. I could also force religion on you for fun. That'll work. Thank you. 
See, we're doing the Lord's work over here. I'm gonna get this uh, Center Reformation, by the way, just by taking this from Denmark. That's gonna be good. We'll get there. Force the merchants to lower some prices. Peasants, money. I'm gonna spend my own money to try and relieve some of the pressure on the lower classes. Like a good social democrat or a Keynesian econom uh, economist. There we go. Stetton, hi, how you doing? You, I'm going to also transfer trade power and force religion. Dang it. How about just force religion for fun then? Who are you allied to? Brunswick, Magdeburg. As long as it's not Lubeck, I don't care. I always mix up the flags of Magdeburg and, Fr and Lubeck. They look very, very similar, just inverse. Okay, this is good enough. Bye. All right, so we finish all this stuff up. Let's go ahead and start sending our troops to deal with the Novgorod separatists who are going after our fort. They're gonna be distracted for at least a little while. And we are gonna end things off with Denmark. Nice knowing you, bud. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Denmark if very dead. As a result, mission complete. We get to upgrade our level of trade in a few locations. We get two upgrades and one goes straight up to two, uh, level two. And we're actually about to get capped out on military power. Hold on. Before I lose some, let's just go ahead and spend a little bit. Boom. All right, that bumps me up to 896. Nice, very nice. Okay, so um, now, what else we got? Um, manufactories are needed, integrate the Sami, establish a trade fleet. What do I need for this, 12 light ships? I actually can do something kind of close to that now. Let's do that. I need to core all of this before I do. Let's concentrate the development and just make it cheaper. And I can't convert anymore for a bit. Right, that makes sense. Ah, dang it. Let's go deal with this first, that's more important. We are not far behind on being able to put an heir on the throne. Shockingly close. So we may get some unlawful territory demands from the Emperor. Really wouldn't surprise me. Wow. Thank you. Apparently we just got 500 free monies. Me like if 500 free monies. Uh, anything else we could do for more money? Not really. Manufactories, you know, we have to build a few of these. So we can go ahead and start building a couple of them out. Why not? We have to get 10. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of unrest for a bit. This is just how it's gonna be. We lost the Siege of Skov. Dang. I'm not surprised, but dang nonetheless. So there's nothing else we can convert over here. Let's swap the Edict to, uh, I think, I don't know. Do you, you have trade, right? Yeah, let's swap you over to a trade focus. And then let's go to my capital. Swap you over to Missionary Strength to speed this up. We already converted Stockholm. We can convert these very quickly. There's the Unlawful Territory. Uh, I think no. No, I don't plan on- I don't plan on giving you anything back. Holstein is mine, and it shall remain that way until the end of time. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. We also have Estonians who are looking to fire off against me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have a lot of years of separatism building up here, but there's not much I can do about it right now. Oop, let's see if we can save this one from flipping. Maybe we can, and... nope, dang it. Uh, it's just such remote territory. Lost an advisor. I am losing a lot of money, so it's kind of risky to keep taking on advisors, but I really need more power consistently to come through. We're getting capped out on Diplo power, which is a bit of an issue. Um, anything I could do with that? We don't really have any war exhaustion to worry about. Um, the only thing I can think to do is mercantilism, or we could accept, let's say, a culture. Yeah, we can accept Estonian, for example, for now. Why not? I mean, yeah, Danish is technically better, but it's already part of my culture group, right? Should be. Yeah. So let's, um, yeah, that's the Bronze Star, of course. Let's just go ahead and embrace Estonian. Spend a little power on that. Make this a little bit better. Culture, Latvian, Lithuanian, Estonian. There it is. Eh. I guess. Eh. All right, converted another province. Let's go over here. Let's convert another. Keep coring, keep coring. 
Uh, we can core all of that now. So wait, was that like an instantaneous... Wow. That was like an act... No. What? No, I heard a different sound and thought for some reason that we just finished with a religious conversion like really quickly. Th that's not true. No, we're fine. More splendor? Oh man, if only that mattered. At a time when the Age of Discovery is ending in just a bit. <laughs> Doesn't really do me a whole lot of good, but thank you anyway. All right, let's uh, break off a couple of infantry. They can go and siege this and we'll be good. Missions, we have established our trade fleet. Hooray! We've also constructed trade posts. Hooray, that's five more mercantilism, heck yes. Me likey, not to mention trade efficiency 20% for 25 years, yas. All right, let's see. A thousand development is what I need for this one. Colonial ambitions, I don't have. And then religious unity needs to go up and we have to be in the next thing and have a really good ruler. A really good ruler, yeah, yeah. Uh, City of the Rus, own Moskva. Yeah, do that, more promoted cultures. Me likey that. And then there's the German coastline. So Poland, Muscovy, Germany. These are the expansion things I need to be doing right now. Okay. Definitely losing a lot of money on army maintenance right now. My army is a bit larger than I can currently support. Uh, okay, um, oh, we're no longer ahead of time, I can actually embrace this. Unless I think I'll get colonialism, but I'm not going to, so, boop, boop, done. Alright, that solves that problem. New units! What do we want? Great question. I think I'll take the Kandata, and I think that's everything. And should convert some more folks, alright, how about over here next? And we start converting all of you. Nine months. Should be fine. Uh, how are the rebels looking? There's a, quite a few of them. Let's go ahead and mothball forts except for the one in Riga. Because I don't know where the Estonians are going to go, but they could end up being over there somewhere. More money, please? No, stop, Poland. Stop asking me for money. I've indulged you enough, thank you. I am, um, unfortunately, very concerned by the fact that I can only get, uh, 98 relations with you. Yeah, the neighboring heretic religion thing's a bit of a problem, ain't it? I can offer you military access, and that gets a little bit. Could also offer you fleet basing. I think that gets a little bit, too. Give me some prestige. I desperately need more. I'm very low on prestige. Converting religions does tend to do that. They charge us a fee? No, sorry, that's for me asking it. I could offer it. No, 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 I don't care about that. Hey, if you broke your relationship with Volgas, that would make things easier too, you know. They'd be willing to do it. We got a lot of favors. Cost is 50, though. Not worth. We have other ways of getting around all this nonsense. So, Lubeck, how are you? I need to kill you. Ooh, and I can call in a bunch of buddies for this one. Boop, boop. That's what we call gross overkill, but it would work, and I'd kill the entire HRE in the process. And the goal would be to vassalize these folks and weather the inevitable coalition storm and then go kill Muscovy. And Perm. Hi, Perm. You exist? That's hilarious. I still have claims against Muscovy, but I don't against Perm. Let's just see if this works better for me. Let's go ahead and start spying on them a little bit. Uh, England, I will improve relations for a little while with you. Question of rights. I'm gonna lose my claim on other places in Norway because I can just integrate them anytime I want so I don't see a reason to antagonize. We still have Estonians gonna fire off. Hold on, get our troops back. We may want to just provoke these guys and force the issue. Because I'm kind of annoyed with how long it's taking. I mean, if I were to, just out of curiosity, do this. Okay, we can actually put them down entirely. Hold on, hold on, this also works just fine. Oh, that's the sound. It was the sound of a Center of Reformation converting things. I'm not stupid, something did convert, it just wasn't from me, got it. Head of a reformed church, Diplo Rep. Um, okay, hang on. So, what does this do? No longer bound to the Holy See, we can be the head of the state's religion. Great thing about Protestantism, huh? 
Religious diplomats has no impact on influence or absolutism while being defender of the faith. Defender of the faith gets extra benefits. And then we get national taxes, church, power, etc. Okay. Or we could curtail the clerical privileges and just get admin tech cheaper. Or expand the temple rights and get them cheaper. Temples and cathedrals give the province local tax modifier and local unrest. Oh my god, temples become pretty good. I mean, hey, an extra tax modifier on top of what they already do just makes temples, like, the whole point is to make money, right? Maintain the balance of power? All a state's loyalty equilibrium goes up. Hmm. So what are the odds I ever want to become the defender of the faith? I need 500 gold to do that. If we do that, there's not a lot of Protestant nations. We'd get some benefits. And a missionary. Yeah, but I almost never take it. I almost never take a uh, Defender of the Faith. An admin tech cost reduction could be nice. I kind of like this, though. It at least makes temples worth building. Otherwise, you, you ignore them at some point and focus on nothing but trade and production. This gives me something else that's worth developing, right? And, well, advisor cost. Tech cost, though, man. This is the more interesting one. Oh, screw it. We're doing weird reforms anyway this game. Let's just make a weirder reformed church. So now we get extra church power. Now we get more taxes. And if I decide to become the defender of the faith, it's actually more enticing because there's a lot of good stuff. Hey, we uh, apparently no longer have any votes or something. Hold on. Why are we not supporting my heir here? We need to support my heir? We're actually... On par with Brandenburg as far as getting this, I have a higher chance of getting some votes now. Oh, that's because my um, diplomatic annexation went away. Great! And yeah, the uh, Center of Reformation is converting quite a few things for me, which is awesome. Thank you. Okay, we converted Skonic. Good. Let's go for this. There's a bunch more cores done out of the way. Finishing off the last one. Can I possibly put down the Muscovite Separatists as well? The answer is yes. We can do all of this without overstretching ourselves, and that actually gets rid of this too. Alright, let's just put down the Rebels for a little bit, and then we can go fight Lubeck. Poland, Poland, Poland. Buddy, 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 buddy. If only your opinion with me would start going up a little bit. Refuse to give ducats for favors. Yeah, that goes away really quickly, though. The want of provinces and the fact that you refuse to convert to the true religion of Protestantism is what makes me sad. You've got Hussite provinces converting? That's hilarious. I really need to do a Hussite game someday. I think it'd be fun. Throw some people out of windows. You know, that kind of stuff. All right, we're done suppressing rebels for a little bit. Let's go ahead and move. We're actually making some money again. That's good. How's my religious unity, by the way? We're up to 37%. Okay. So we'll keep paying attention to this, but the missionaries are definitely going by pretty quick. Converted somebody else. Let's go over here next. We're getting somewhere. Slowly, but we're getting somewhere. I could send, like, gifts and stuff to Poland, and that would be one way of trying to get some more, uh, friends. They're not willing to give me any money because they're losing cash. England, out of curiosity... I've got a few favors with you. I could just try to build up some trust with them, which isn't even the worst idea, only because I need to keep this alliance long term. Maybe. By the way, did you know Picardy exists as an independent nation down here for this game for some reason? Yeah, that's a thing. Hum, 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 hum. I don't need to build the trust right now, though, so let's just not worry about it. All right, so Lubeck, you need to die. I'm going to have to fight the HRE now. It's time. You have no trade league, which is hilarious. Call in my buddies. We kill everyone. I'm taking a vassal along the German coast, and it's a merchant republic, which means I'm going to get a lot of good stuff. 
Uh, can't really get to him right now, so we're going to take off all of the cavalry and some of the infantry and just sort of sit back and stop taking so much attrition for a little bit. We do have Hamburg in this war, but of course they are under siege by rebels, so we don't care. Hey, Poland! I've opened the floodgates! You can go and attack them now, have fun! Perm, let's get a claim on you, just so I have the option if I want to. Boom, boom, bada, bada, boom. And I guess we should improve relations with Brandenburg. We haven't done that for a little bit. The last days of Finn. Millenarianism. Seems terrible. Fear of the apocalypse. Huh. No, we'll, we'll just have this in one province, thank you. Okay, um... You know what? We haven't improved with Norway in a while. They don't like me very much. Let's boost them up a little bit, shall we? Oh, new missions. What else can we do? Base tax. A regimental camp in Stockholm. For man... Uh, force limit? I, I guess I could, but meh. Burgers. Trade power in Lubeck. This will happen. We're gonna do that, and I'm gonna start collecting down here. In fact, what kind of... We already are collecting, right? Yeah, we are. I got 17% control here. Uh, what I should probably do, and I probably should have done a while ago, is actually start protecting trade in Lubeck specifically now. We can boost this up already just from the ship power, and then as I start occupying the Lubeck people, we'll get a lot more power here. Like, a lot more. Why can't I convert you? It's already flipping. Perfect. Shelland, hi, your turn. This is already converting too. Wow, what do you know? Oh, wait. This whole state's already been converted. Oh. Whoops! I did not need to swap that. Okay. Um. All right. Where else would be good then? Shellen's converting. Scoff? Guess. Scotland. Rival. Mm. I guess we'll go ahead and get rid of Scoff. Sure, why not? All right. So we're just casually fighting the entirety of the HRE, but we're not going to end this war for a little while. Let Poland continue beating on them for a while. Let Poland weaken himself in case I see an opportunity to seize his throne. A weak Poland? I'm in. I'm I'm the lead. There's a chance I pull this off now. I'm leading. Guys, if I can get Poland-Lithuania to throw themselves at the HRE, I take what I want. I sit back and do nothing while they get weak and then I jump on them. That'd be amazing. That said, holy frick, do they have a lot of troops. <laughs> I don't really see fighting um, Poland as going to be easy in any stretch. I really need some buddies. I cannot begin to stress how badly I need some friends. But I've kind of burned all those friends, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, no, nothing I can do there. Muscovy would be the only logical choice, but they hate me. <sighs> I don't know how I'm going to get these guys. I really don't. It's going to be so hard. I'm not going to say it's impossible. I'm just going to say it's really hard to do. Hey, where's my primary navy, by the way? There you are. CG Lubeck ended. We can destroy some ships. Let's do it. See if we can steal some in the process. I think we stole a galley. Let's finish off the uh, innovative ideas. Boom. Foreign Advisors is now a policy option. Aggressive Expansion Impact and Cheaper Advisors. That works for me. Both of those sound great, actually, for a lot of reasons. All right, so I'm gonna allow people to stack up on me. And we can go jump on the Emperor. However, however, Bohemia is on his way. I'd rather go kill him. He's a much easier target. Bye, that's a stack. Oh, God, they're stacked up all their troops over here. Yeah. Poland's killing a bunch. Poland, if I come over here, would you help? No? Okay. Tell you what, we're gonna go siege down Bremen then. Or Hamburg, sorry. I'm a little bit wary of splitting my forces up to Holstein. Because I've got a feeling that he can cross this fort, but maybe not. All right, well, Poland's running around. They're all sitting here and just focusing on this fort. They got a minus 28% chance of getting that right now. I'm gonna move my fleet to blockade. Prospering times. Ooh. Could use more admin power than anything else, so we'll do that. Okay, he just moved a bunch of troops off. 
forget this fort. This is my chance to grab a bunch and kill them. So let's do that. Stack wipe. He's coming up to my territory. We're going to crush the emperor again. Again. First time. And let's leave behind some troops and let them reinforce. The Bible has been translated. Great news. Spread it and make people Protestant. Yes. Unfortunately, that upsets Poland. But... I've got 41 votes right now. That's looking pretty dang good. What do we need for more uh, church power, by the way? Is it 100 power? Yeah, it's 100 power. I don't remember what's considered meta here and what's really good. Some extra missionary strength would help in some ways, for sure. Discipline, morale of armies, like all that. Free policies, cheaper ideas, production efficiency is really good. Aggressive expansions, okay. Autonomy, eh. Yeah, I like, I, like, I like some of that. And we can swap this around as needed later. So it's pretty solid. Uh, they're going to go kill Mainz's arm. No, they're not? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have officially been elected in Poland. We're going to continue supporting our heir, just in case. But, ladies and gentlemen, I now have the ability to declare a war on Poland. I'm very scared of that, though. Poland has 50,000 infantry, let alone 10,000, no, 14,000 cavalry, let alone, yeah, I'm nowhere near as powerful as these guys. They've outpaced me by a lot. I'm, I'm guessing that if I click on this, this won't last forever. This is a temporary thing. So if I click this now and I die or they move on to the next air. I bet you I've passed my window, window of opportunity. I feel like, and I could be wrong on this, but I feel like I have to do this when they're either distracted in a really big war, like let's say against the Ottomans, or when I'm much more powerful than I am now. I need allies. I have to find bigger allies, people who can help me. At the very least, distract them long enough that I can demand it. The more I can throw Poland and Lithuania into some wars and weaken them, the better. But I cannot click the button because I'm betting it's not going to work out well for me if I do. So we're just going to continue doing what we're doing. Uh, get a claim against Muscovy. I guess that's fine, sure. All right, more things converting, all looking pretty good so far. Honestly, that's most of my core territory that should be done. Religious unity is up to 50%, so looking all right. Ottomans declare war on Austria. Good Lord, the Ottomans are getting scary. They are pushing up hard, Hungary and Austria going down. I thought Poland was involved in a coalition against the Ottomans at one point, but I guess not anymore. Here goes the Siege of Hamburg. Hey, I just realized, am I actually able to declare another war if I'm already fighting the Emperor? Yeah, uh, no. No, I can't. Oh, that's a problem. So you're telling me that I'm not going to be able to take Volgast as a vassal and still also have Poland okay with this. <sighs> Alright, I may need to have to, I may need to ask them to, um, revoke the alliance. I might have to do that. Let's go ahead and siege what we can over here against Luber Lubeck. We completed some agendas. I have a lot more power. That's good. The war is looking really good so far. I'm going to go ahead and just carpet siege down the rest of Lubeck over y'all. Tech available. We're really far ahead of time in our Diplo power. My god, we're so good at getting Diplo power. It's scary. Um, I guess something I could do... Okay, here's a thought. I never do this, but what if we decided to start converting some people to Swedish? Here's the reason why. I know that later we should be able to get a reform that's going to unlock the special Carolean infantry type. I don't know where that is, but I know that's somewhere in here. Right? I need to find that. Hang on. So we have to do the reforms of the Vasa here. Then we have to reform the military and doing this will unlock the allotment system of Sweden, and that is the unique government reform. Okay. Okay. 
So good. All right, now I at least know where that all comes from. What was I thinking about again? I have now completely lost track of what I was saying. Uh oh, my brain. I have no idea what I was thinking anymore. Right, well, hmm. Anyway, we know when those are gonna be a thing now. I feel like this was really important. What was I gonna say? Oh my god, my brain is completely gone. What was I going to say? Oh, 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 it was about the Diplo power. Okay, so anyway, yes, if I can work my way down this mission to reform the military, I know that the number of Carolean infantry you can get is based on how much development you have in Swedish or Finnish culture provinces. If I have an excess of cultural, uh, diplomatic uh, power, and I don't care about mercantilism, if I just stop, uh, start swapping some people over to the Swedish culture, that's eventually going to result in me having extra stuff, right? So Riga, for example, yeah, it's a very expensive province, right? But that's because Riga has 15 dev. So if I wanted to swap its culture over to Swedish, it'd be an option. I don't know if this is smart. This may be stupid, but I'm thinking very long term here. It could be worth it. Now, some cultures I can swap and some I can't. Uh, I don't honestly remember what the rules are as far as... Oh, it has to be a Protestant province, that's why. Okay. Yeah, eventually we can do more with this, but if I've got extra Diplo power, let's just start making a lot of Swedish people. Let's just do it. Great projects, again, stop it. And we have finished off with summoning some stuff. We can peace out with Hamburg and so on. I guess I don't really see a problem with that, really. Uh, I'm gonna force your religion, take your trade power, and whatever cash I can buy. Thank you. Okay. Lots more of the Protestants over here, and more importantly, we're getting even more trade in Lubeck, where I can collect a lot of money. So this is all looking pretty good. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and curry some favors, I guess, for a little bit with the poles. I've got to find a way to finagle them. I've got to find a really good way to finagle these guys so that I can attack, because we can pop a mission and just take over. God, that would be so good. But it only works at a time when they're a bit weaker. Because if they're going to have 43,000 there and 31, they're at 74,000 troops, and I'm at 34. I've got half their army, less than half their army. Not to mention, when we attack them, I'm pretty sure I have to fight all their allies as well, and there are a bunch, and I don't have any who would really help me with this. Maybe England, but I doubt it. So this is where things start getting a bit tricky, right? How do we find a way to make this work? Maybe once I finish with Volgast, we can take Bohemia as an ally, and that could help a little bit? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Hang on. Is there another mission... Let's just double check anything else here, because the thing just popped up again. I don't see it, so no, we don't care about any of that. Oh, lordy lord. All right, well, I need to end this video up, but thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and the notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.